So layer your perfumes like that and tell me if it lasts all day, if it doesn't last all day. There's no how you are going to follow these tips that I'm giving you, that your perfumes will not last all day. There's no how. If it doesn't last, come back and tell me, wing lady, I tried what you said, it did not work. Ah, you cannot even because it's going to work. See you guys. This is your wing lady and I'm back with another lit video yeah. <laughs> hey guys how you doing this is wing lady if you're new here hi please subscribe if you're a returning subscriber I love you so much <laughs> also when you click on the subscribe button click on the bell notification button next to the subscribe button so that you never miss a video when I post okay let's get into it so today I want to tell you guys how you can make your perfumes last all day how you can make your perfume last long, like longest, longer than it normally lasts. Okay, so how do we make perfumes last all day? The number one thing to do is that, of course, you cannot be spraying perfume on dirty skin or on dirty clothes. No, this is like no brainer, right? So number one thing you want to do is that you want to shower or take a bath or scrub your body. Your body needs to be clean at first before you start to wear perfumes and layer and layer. The first one is that you need to take a good bath. Or a good shower make sure your body is clean or you scrub you can do a nice body scrub <laughs> but just make sure that your body is clean that's the first step you want your body to be clean first before you now decide to put other things so after your body is clean after that you dry your body of course you use the towel the whole shebang you dry your body and then you use your body spray or your deodorants you know the deodorants when i like the ball the roller ones you just rub on your armpits and all the body spray i personally prefer body spray instead of deodorants but if you're a deodorant kind of person just use that first so use your deodorant then use your body spray hmm. i hope you are getting it then after that you moisturize your skin like you use your body lotion whichever body lotion that you're using make sure it's a moisturizing one you need to get moisture into your skin before you spray perfume directly on it don't spray perfume directly on your skin after a bath without anything as a sort of barrier on your skin are we getting like don't just come out of the bathroom and start spraying perfume you know you know it has alcohol in it so after you take a bath you get your roll on or your body spray then you moisturize your skin you use your body lotion then after using your body lotion you cannot go ahead with your perfume so you can spray perfume on your pulse points like where your blood pumps like you feel the blood pumping that is where we call pulse points like where you can touch like you feel your um blood pumping doing <laughs> that's pulse points so these two parts on the neck there are pulse points here there are pulse points here on your wrist here then there are pulse points on your at the back of your knees too as a woman, we all have the same pulse point. As a woman or a man, you have pulse points at the back of your knees too. Then on your chest too, you spray perfume. You spray perfume there as well. So after moisturizing your skin, then you spray your perfume at your pulse points. Okay? Spray your perfume at your pulse points. If the perfume does not irritate you, is when you can spray it on your skin. If it irritates you, do not spray on your skin. Which brings me to the next step. After you spray it on your skin, then you spray the perfume on your clothes. For example... You spray one spray here, one spray there. Don't rub it together. No, do not rub. You are going to break down the molecules in the perfume. Do not rub. You can dab. You can just dab it together this way. It is perfect, but do not rub. Like, don't rub it. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Then after that, you wear your clothes. After putting on your clothes, then you check which kind of color of the clothing you're wearing. If it's a light color clothing, I strongly suggest you not to spray perfume on light colored clothing in case it stains so if it's a darker colored clothing then you spray it on the darker parts of your clothes for example what i'm wearing right now if i were to spray perfume i won't spray it here i would spray it here so spray perfume on the darker parts of your clothing with perfumes you can spray anywhere on your clothing you can spray on your chest on your hands on your belly your body you can go crazy with perfume like just make sure you don't spray it on parts that are going to stain your clothes the next thing is that you want to layer your scents. Like this is what you preach here, right? Do not use just one perfume. <laughs> Why you, do you want to settle for one perfume when you can use a lot? When you can use like five. Okay, that's a bit too much, but layer your perfumes. Okay, this is how to go about it. You normally typically you should have um two to three scents that you layer, right? Typically, you have three. The first one, the second one, and the third one. But if you don't have access to three, you can use two. You put on the heaviest one first. 
that will serve as some sort of base. For example, if you're wearing something like oud mood and you want to layer it with something sweet, then you put on the oud mood first. You layer your perfume by using the heaviest one first. So you spray on the heaviest one first, then you take the lighter one, you spray that on top of it, then you take the lightest one, the lightest out of perfume, the softest, then you spray it as the third one to, you know, sort of balance it out, you get. So that is how you layer your perfumes. If you have just one perfume, it's okay as well. Just use whatever you have. Then after layering, it brings me to the, um, is it the last? I'm not counting. <laughs> it brings me to the next step. After layering your perfumes, make sure that you use perfume oils as well. I know somebody will ask me, why do I have to put on perfume oils after laying about three perfumes? Perfume oils will allow your scent to last long, long, longer. Perfume oil will seal everything in for you. Okay, it is like when you're moisturizing your hair. You know, ladies, when you want to moisturize your hair, you pour water first, then you add some sort of leave-in conditioner, then you seal it with oil. I be ladies, is that not true? Exactly the same thing with perfumery. If you firstly come out of the bathroom, like I said, you moisturize your skin first to get, then you put on perfume. Then the last step should be the oil. So that's going to sit on top of it and make sure that everything is smelling. Typically, you don't want perfume to get sucked into your skin. You want it to sit on your skin or on your clothes so that it can project and smell forward. That is exactly what you do. You take your perfume oil that is complementing your scent, that is complementing the perfume that you're wearing, then you layer that on your clothes. Okay, typically what I do is that if I've sprayed here and I've sprayed here, I don't put on perfume oil on it again. I spray somewhere close to it, okay? So that it doesn't irritate you, okay? Some perfume oils and some perfumes kind of irritate you when they get too much. So if you spray here, then spray here. If you spray here, then spray here, okay? Then you now layer, like I said, you layer it with perfume oils. My sister, my brother. Then you're going to be smelling good all day, every day, all day, every day. Then there's something else I want to give you a tip on. If you're taking your perfumes, make sure that you always cover the cap of your bottle. Like when you spray your perfume, some people just spray perfumes, then they put it down without covering it back. Mm -mm. That is why your perfumes are not lasting long. Make sure that you always cover it back with the cover of the perfume. Whenever you spray perfume, cover it back with the cover of the perfume. Okay, make sure it is covered back and don't put your perfumes where there's sun, you know, sunlight. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. So that is it. So after perfume oils, you can now step out of your house smelling like a rich bee, smelling like a boss bee, smelling like a manly man. You get it. <laughs> yeah. So layer your perfumes like that and tell me if it lasts all day, if it doesn't last all day. There's no how you are going to follow these tips that I'm giving you, that your perfumes will not last all day. There is no how. If it doesn't last, come back and tell me, wing lady, I tried what you said, it did not work. Ah, you cannot even because it's going to work. So you guys, that is how to make your scent. That is how to make your perfumes, your fragrances last all day, to last super long. That's how you'll be smelling and killing people, buzzing brains every day, all day, every day. One final tip, if you think your perfume is sort of wearing down or you can't feel the scent anymore, make sure you take like a decant to carry with you like in your bag or in your purse that you can just whip it out at maybe in the middle of the day and you feel that my perfumes are sort of fading away, then you can just take that decant and you just spray it on you again, refreshed. Then you are out there and you are killing people again. Ah, ah, you are out there and you are killing them with your scent again. <laughs> So guys, I've enjoyed making this video. Please like it if you enjoy it. Also subscribe to my channel for more and watch more of my videos. That makes me super, super happy. I love you so much. <laughs> and until next time, ciao.